What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to add some dust effects for the footsteps. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, if you are serious about learning and making your first game in Unreal Engine 5, join my Unreal Club. Inside, you will be able to download entire private files from my tutorials, enter private meetings and webinars with industry experts, access exclusive ebooks packed with the best tricks, get powerful asset frameworks to speed up your blueprints, and much more. The link is in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. Alright, so let's go ahead and just right click and create a new Niagara system because to be using the new Niagara system, right? And let's search for burst. A burst is just like a one time particle thing, right? And it's gonna be perfect because it's what we want. We want like a mini explosion of dust in this case, right? There's a couple of options. In this case, the best one will be omnidirectional burst because it's just a burst along all directions. So it's just like a little sphere, right? Expanding, which is gonna be the most similar to begin with to just like dust for footsteps and so on, right? So let's click on create ns underscore dust something like this and open it up okay so as you can see we are now inside of the niagara system and we have a little explosion of particles going on of course we have to go ahead and modify all of these but before doing that let's go ahead and just you know see how it will look on the player's footsteps so there's a couple ways to spawn this niagara effect on the footsteps and the approach you're gonna be taking today is through animation notifies, okay? So let's go ahead and find the walking animations or the running animations, right? So in this case, it will be characters, mannequins, animations, queen, because I'm using uh, the female version, and then run, okay? Now, of course, you should also add this to walk and all the other stuff, but just for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm gonna be using only run, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna add a new notify track, and that's gonna be used by footsteps. As you can see, Unreal Engine already has laid down when we should have that little, you know, effect with the R, L, R, L. So it's easy for us to just go here, right click on the footsteps track, add notify and do a play Niagara particle effect. If we now select this new notify, we can search the NS underscore dust that we have created. And yes, notifies are just little events in the animations frame or we can do certain things in this case boom spawn the niagara particle effect when we go ahead and boom you know pass through this little event right and like i said unreal engine has made it very easy because already has marked the points if not you would just see where the fit lands kind of here and add it okay so gonna copy click paste click paste click paste click paste and click and paste so we have for all of the first steps and as you can see it is working perfectly fine but of course it looks terrible because we still have the default particle but if i now press play we have some footsteps going on so we got something already working right now it is just time to customize the particles and like i said you can you know re uh do this for all of the animations that you have for your locomotion okay but don't save and close so now like i said it is time to actually make them look like dust so for this what i've done is imported a simple kind of cartoonish dust uh texture which i can link in the description it's just from google you said png image with transparency okay so let's right click over this texture make sure that you import this one or any dust material that you want and hit on create material let's name this thing as m underscore dust Open this up, and the first thing that we're gonna change is just like the, you know, node or the material in general, and set the blend mode to translucent because we want transparency, right? Because we wanna eliminate the background. So just get the alpha and plug it into the opacity, and boom! As you can see, it already works just like that. But there's one thing that we wanna add in this material so it's more compatible with our Niagara system. As you can see, there's a lot of different components in our omnidirectional burst node including ones to change the scale color, the sprite size, things like this, right? In this case, for color and for the alpha of the particle and so on that changes over time, we need to add one little node so it will actually change the opacity and the alpha over time, right? If not, nothing will happen. So we need to add the particle color node. And it's very simple, okay? I'm gonna take the RGB incoming and just multiply it by the RGB of our texture and plug it into the base color, okay? 
So I'm gonna put this over here, so be more organized. And then the same for the incoming alpha, you just multiply this with the alpha of our texture and plug that new one into the opacity. And that's it, okay? So if the alpha of the Niagara effect changes over time, it will go ahead and apply a multiplication over the alpha of the texture. Therefore, it will fade out or just, yeah, just lower the transparency of the material dust itself. Done. So now we just need to go to the sprite rendering and set the material to be M underscore dust. And that's it. As you can see now, we replace it with our material. But it still looks a bit bad because they're still very small. So let's go into the initialized particle. As you can see, we have a sprite mode in terms of a uniform size, right? It's random from 3 to 7. Let's put in like from 25 to, you know, 35. Something like this and now it looks a bit better. But still, there's an important thing to change. The first step particle just, you know, it's just there like floating for a very long time. It want to be like, boom, like a quick dust, right? It disappears soon. So when I change the lifetime to like 0.2, 0.25 and as you can see it is way faster and more like actual dust we can maybe extend this to 0.3 but there we go it's just happening perfectly fine let's also put like maybe 20 and 30 a little bit smaller and that's it so now if i press play as you can see there are more like actual dust particles which is way better and maybe even this is still too big so maybe you know 15 and 20 you know lower this to 15 and 0.2 you know there's a lot of modifications that you can do in order to make the first step a bit more realistic but in my case i'm liking how this is ending up you can really customize everything i can increase i think back again so you stay a bit more it's just a bit nicer and yeah you can of course customize all the things as you want we can also add a notify when you land right so it looks a bit more realistic so quickly, let's go into the many animations and add one on the land. So we just find the spot where we land, which is kind of here. And in the notify track, you can, of course, create a new one called footsteps. So it's just a bit more organized. It doesn't really matter. Let's right click and add a new notify for it. And I grab particle effect. Use the NS underscore dust. And that's it. When we land, we'll play this particle effect. And on top of this, we can make it like 1.2. 1.2 and 1.2 so it's a bit bigger because of course when we land we have a bigger impact so as you can see it's just a bit bigger obviously you can customize this as you want so that's it guys if you found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel join my unreal club to download the profiles and actually take unreal engine series and now yes with all i said bye bye